All right, everyone. So today I'd like to talk a little bit about ruthenium. These cubes are made out of a pure ruthenium metal, uh, one of the rarest of the precious metals and one which uh, most people have never heard about. Uh, so uh, I've done a few of these uh, video clips uh, explaining what the process is and, and how expensive these precious metals are. Um, but um, today it's the spotlight for ruthenium. Uh, and again, uh, this is a very rare metal. Uh, it's actually rarer than gold. Uh, it is not really mined anywhere on Earth. It is recovered as a byproduct of uh, other precious metal ores, and it's just a, you know, let's call it a contaminant, quote unquote, you know, a lucky contaminant that is very valuable, and they just set it aside and sell on the platinum and gold, and then hold this uh, over uh, to sell separately. It also does get used a lot in jewelry, especially with... Uh, gold and platinum rings and they add it in the form of a powder so that uh, it makes the alloys stronger only a little bit about it usually five percent here we're looking this was uh, the 10 millimeter uh, one centimeter cube made out of this precious metal uh, complete uh, completely um, uh, ruthenium there is this is not an alloy it is pure ruthenium through and through 99.95% uh, pure uh, is never seen in commercial use of this purity. Here we have an inch to a side, uh, much bigger cube. This one retails for $289, I believe, at the moment. This one is specially made for us, and it's uh, just over $5,000 for a cube uh, made of this. Uh, still a lot cheaper than... Uh, something like iridium which is even rarer and a cube of this size is astronomically expensive like 10 times more so than this one even though the two metals are not uh, you know iridium is not 10 times rarer uh, it's comparable but it is so much more difficult to make and acquire than ruthenium but anyway let's talk more about ruthenium ruthenium uh, this is this cube here is as the others made to a mirror finish on all sides uh, and uh, it does have some hairline scratches which uh, the manufacturer can't really get to and the reason is if you look carefully on the side you see a little bit of speckling that speckling is as a result of uh, shining what is essentially a sponge this metal is not melted they're not able to melt it completely so what they do is they take powder and then they just press the bejesus out of it on all sides and they compress it at a really hot temperature and it essentially becomes solid but there's still tiny little voids inside and once you start polishing it no amount of polishing will ever get rid of those um voids because it's like that all the way to the core so it's fall short of full mirror um, but it comes pretty close anyway uh, these are cubes again made out of ruthenium metal completely pure uh, this one is 10 millimeters and this one is an inch so 25.4 millimeters and I hope that this is informative to some degree. Ruthenium is a very difficult metal to machine. In fact, if you were to make it into a wire, let's say, and you try to bend that wire like you would copper wire or something like that, it would just snap. It's not going to go anywhere. So that's why it can't really be made into objects except through casting and sculpting like you have here. I hope this, again, is uh, of some use to you, and at least you get to see what these, uh, this metal looks like in its solid form. Close to solid, anyway, as I mentioned. This is Raciel for Luciteria. Thank you.